Right, in this lesson I'm going to try and solve some addition questions by um, splitting numbers into parts. Let's start with this question here. 8 counters plus 7 counters equals something. You can see down here I've got two tens frames again, just like the last lesson. This one's already got 8 counters in it, and I've got 7 more counters over here. And I'm going to use our tens frame to help me answer this question. Right, first of all, I'm going to fill up this tens frame. So, there we go. I've added 2 in there so far. So, I'm just going to record what I've done so far. I've done 8 plus 2. And you can see that's taken me to 10. But obviously, I'm not done yet. I've got a few more to put in. Let's put these ones in. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. So you can see that I have got the 10 that I made, plus the 5 other counters, which equals 15 counters. Let's have a look at what that looks like on a number line. I started at 8, and then I just did a little jump, which would bring me up to that tidy number, which was the same as filling one of those tens frames, so that brought me up to 10, and to get from 8 to 10, that was 2 counters. Now I needed to add 7, and so far all I've done is add 2, so I've got a little bit more to jump, in fact I've got 5 more to jump, and you can just check, 5 plus 2 is 7, and you can see up here that's how much I do have to go up, so 10 plus 5 equals 15. So there you go, we've solved it once using a tens frame and once using a number line. Let's go down a little bit further. We've got another problem. This time I have got 7 plus 6 equals something. Alright, well I've got my 7 counters in here already and I've got my 6 counters over here which I need to add in. So first thing I do is fill up my tens frame. 1, 2, Three. So let's just recall what I've done so far. I had 7 over here. I added 3 more counters and that took me to 10. Or one whole tens frame. Now you can see I've still got a few more counters over here so I've got to put them in. 1, 2, and 3. Let's record what we did. We had that full tens frame over here, plus the three more counters, 10 plus 3 equals 13, so the answer to 7 plus 6 is 13. Let's have a look at what that one looks like on a number line. I'm going to start at 7, and like I've done with all the other ones, I'm trying to get myself up to a tidy number, and the closest one is 10. So to do that I had to add 3 which was like what I did over here when I was using the tens frame. Now I have to actually add 6. I've only added 3 so far, which means I have got 3 more to add. I'm now at 10. I add 3 more, and that gets me to 13. Which again, you can see, using the number line, I get 13 as my answer, which is the same as what I got when I was using the tens frame. So I can write that answer in. Right, I think it's time to try something a little bit harder. Let's try uh, 78 plus 5. And again, I'm just going to do this one on a number line. Um, starting at 78, and just like I've done with all the other ones, I want to find, I want to jump up to my closest tidy number, which in this case is going to be 80. 80 is the tidy number just above 78. Right, to get to 80 I jumped 2. But I have to jump 5. I've only jumped 2, which means I've still got some more to jump up. I've got another 3 to jump up. 80 plus 3 is 83. So my answer is... 
Well, hopefully you found this lesson helpful. Um, as always, there's some more PowerPoint videos and uh, activity sheets through our maths books, which you can find at teachertools.co.nz.